A lot of people don't realise the reason why gambling addiction gets so bad and is one of the most difficult addictions to get away from is because it's not the good bit of gambling that you get addicted to, it's actually the bad bits. Now I know that sounds a bit weird, but if you think about it, when people get drunk and they become addicted to alcohol, they're addicted to the being drunk part, you know, the fun part. They're not addicted to the next morning when they feel terrible and they're puking blood. That doesn't interest them, so they drink more to get back to the good bit. Or when someone's addicted to cocaine or smoking weed, they're addicted to the high, that's the good bit. They're not addicted to feeling crap afterwards and having no money. And that's why gambling addiction is so, so bad. It's just, I can't even think of a word that d describes it to be as bad as it is. Because when you're addicted to gambling, the thing that you are actually addicted to is the near miss. When you nearly win, you're like, oh, I was literally 30 seconds away, or I was one goal away, or I was like two minutes away from winning a huge stack of money, and then you get depressed. When you start to feel hope again, you think next time will be different. You think next time, I'll get it. I won't, that 30 seconds won't happen or I'll, I'll make slightly better bets. I will be better. And that's what's addicting. You think, I have now improved. I'm more experienced. Next time, I will beat that problem. And that's the thing you're addicted to, that hope. Unfortunately though, as a lot of people and I found out when I was addicted to gambling, it's false hope. These betting websites, they know that you're doing that. And they adjust the odds to take that into consideration so that the next time you make a bet, you put more money on, or you adjust it slightly, or you have two bets just in case you don't quite get there. You know, you bet for three goals and then you add another one for two goals, or then you think, well, I'll put two one on in case there is three goals, but one goes the other way. And you're just constantly chasing your losses and that's the thing you get addicted to. You think the hope you feel after you've had the depression crash when you've lost a massive bet and you didn't win anything and you start to recover and feel hopeful again you think next time will be different I'll be better and that's the thing you've got to understand you will not be better next time you'll be the same gambling is the same thing every time but you are expecting that it's gonna be a different result next time and it won't be so unfortunately Gambling is the most difficult addiction in my and I've been addicted to all kinds of things drugs pornography gambling You name it. I've been addicted to it in some capacity over my life Thank God I'm free of all that stuff now The reason I'm making this video is a friend of mine has a problem with his gambling and I just want him to Think about it like this if you're serious about being a career gambler You think you're the person out of all the millions of people who try and fail and bankrupt themselves and get depressed, if you think you're the special one and you can, fa you, you can succeed where they have failed, then you need to document every single time you put money in and take money out, every single bet you make and every single loss and win, write it out on a piece of paper and then show someone who cares about you and try and convince them using the factual data of your actual results and if you can convince that person that you've got some kind of winning streak system which defeats the odds which is going to result in you winning a lot of money when drawn out over a long period of time because that's what you're doing when you're a gambling addict you're taking that small one gambling you know one stake event one small bet and you're drawing it out over the long term into 10 20 100 400 a million bets when you keep going you know when you keep chasing that hope that you're going to win big next time and then you will realize when you look at your data, when you look at your actual results, the amount of money you're putting in compared to the amount you're getting out, the amount of wins and losses you have, you'll realize a good gambler has a 10% win ratio. Understand that, a good gambler, you know, one that breaks even, doesn't even win money, just doesn't lose anything, that good gambler loses nine times out of 10. And the one bet they win has got ridiculous odds and that's what brings them back to breaking even they don't win any money so if you think about it in order for you to have factual documentation of your gambling and be doing well enough to want to carry it on as a career and actually be a good gambler you have to do better than 10 percent wins you have to win more than one out of 10 bets and you have to go above break even you have to win profit regularly so like I say, if you need any more further proof than what I'm telling you, that your gambling addiction is going to take you absolutely nowhere, 
be honest with yourself, and that means recording on a piece of paper wins, losses, deposits, withdrawals, amount of bets, amount of losses, and record the hours you're spending to do this. And what you will find, my friend, is that you're spending hours and hours and hours and hours of your time, which you should be spending with your kids or your wife or your family or doing something fun, you know, that doesn't make you pull your hair out with stress, doesn't make you want to drink heavily or do drugs to get away from the stress of it. You'll be spending that time on something good and it won't be costing you hundreds and hundreds of pounds and you won't be losing all that money to win back nothing. But like I say, if I'm wrong and you're right and you're this fantastic special one gambler who has beat the system and you can win money and make a career of it, write it down on a piece of paper, show anyone that cares about you, you can count and if you can convince them with your actual results that you're getting right now be it a week, two weeks, a month, you can do it for as long as you want, it just has to be a week or more. If you can convince them with your results, your actual real life results, that you are A, winning money, and B, that you can carry this on in future, then you go right ahead and be a career gambler and you'll be the first one ever to, con to successfully conclude your gambling with a new career, you know, the special one, amazing gambler. But I think we all know and you know, if you're honest with yourself, if you start recording your accurate results and accounting for wins, losses, withdrawals and deposits accurately, you will see when you look at your own results, you're not winning. The times when you win, you're immediately putting that money back on to chase a previous loss. And in the end, your hot streak ends with consecutive losses and you end up with zero money. And the only reason you stop is because you have no more money to gamble. And then you have to wait until your next payday and throw more money at it and go into more debt. So be smart. You're a smart guy. If you get into gambling and you can predict the future enough to see yourself winning, then just tweak that prediction with the reality of your results on paper. And you will see that that time and money that you are throwing at your gambling would be far better spent elsewhere. And the gambling is actually the main problem in your life. And as soon as you solve that, your life will be going fucking fantastic and you will be loving it. So I hope you enjoyed listening to this and you, you it really meant something to you. You actually listened to me. Like I say, do the recording on paper, accurate results, show someone else. If you can convince them, you can convince yourself really that you are a career gambler and you can make money. But if you can't convince them on paper without lying or trickery or false accounting, then you know and I know the best thing for you is to never gamble again Swallow the losses you've already incurred. You'll never get that money back. Just admit to yourself that's a loss you're going to have to take and improve your life and go on to better things and use that time and money for something worthwhile that adds something to your life and doesn't just pay some fat gambling boss his bonus who doesn't care about you. All right, so that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed that and you learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. If anyone else listening has any problems with gambling themselves, don't hide it, don't delay, immediately go to your doctor and get help and you can recover and get your life back on track. So do that, have fun, God bless and I'll see you next time.